Hello, my name is John Rafferty, and today I will be showing you my public interview portfolio. Um, it's in this binder right here. It's rather small, uh, so it's compact. It fits everything very nicely. Um, so first thing to start off with, uh, because I couldn't put the business cards anywhere else in this folder other than the front pocket, um, but it's a neat little uh, storage spot for um, business cards. Um, they are professionally well done, and uh, they are customized for Turning Point USA, um, the organization I currently work for. Um, but uh, first thing is my resume, cover letter, and references. This is the first section in it. And my resume, um, very neatly done, a lot of white space. Um, I put basically the essential things that I needed to include on there. Um, cover letter, I've done this format traditionally uh, for any job interview I've done, um, but it lists what I'm qualified for um, how I'm able to help in certain positions. The references list, I have yet to expand on my references, but it, um, it's the core, core people I want uh, on my list for now. Here's my mission statement and elevator speech. Um, those go well in there to express what, um, what you're most passionate about and how um, you seek to improve yourself in different ways. Um, this is not on the required list, but I thought it would be worthy to include it. This is my Turning Point USA um, acceptance letter or the job offer. Um, that is uh, something I felt I should include as part of my professional development. Um, business cards, work samples. Obviously, business cards are in the front pocket, but my work samples include various essays and thought pieces I um, thought to include uh, from this semester because the thought pieces were a great exercise for all of us, I feel, and um, having the chance to participate in them and express my genuine thoughts on different topics was uh, a good process. So I included a lot of that. Um, there's a lot of thought pieces in there as well as some uh, research papers I've worked on um, in the past um, that widely express my interests. So the next section is potential interview questions and responses. This section basically, um, uh, it's I use the same heading for um, uh, the uh, questions, uh, my name, address, cell phone number, email, um, and LinkedIn profile. Uh, so I started with traditional questions. I answered them thoroughly. Um, the next section, is still still traditional questions I put on there. Um, and then I included some behavioral questions. Uh, depending on what kind of questions I would be asked in an interview, I decided that, you know, it would be worthy to include those as well, um, to be well prepared. And uh, some behavioral questions I also included. Um, see. And now for the end is personalized questions. Uh, those are good to have on hand if you plan on preparing uh, for a typical interview. Um, it's good to ask questions after the interview is conducted because you don't want to leave the interview without any questions. Otherwise, they will think that you're not interested or you're not committed enough to the position. You will likely not get chosen. Um, so the next section is unofficial transcripts and LinkedIn certificates. Um, I decided to include uh, my Geneseo transcripts just because, you know, who cares? <laughs> um, but uh, obviously almost done. And for LinkedIn certificates, I decided to include business writing principles. Uh, these courses were really good um, in terms of having my personal development uh, kind of trained and tested. Um, but I believe participating in these will uh, improve my personal skills, uh, communication skills, as well as my writing skills. Um, so like I said, the first one, uh, first certificate was business writing principles. The next one is Daniel Pink on motivation. And the third one and final one is how to set goals when everything feels like a priority that focused a lot on uh, goal setting, time management, and um, you know, just really prioritizing um, things in your life, uh, different tasks. So awards and accomplishments, this one uh, is from different awards and accomplishments. Certificates uh, include um, my Dean's List uh, letter from 
uh, Erie Community College uh, the first two years I went there. Um, but I got above 3.5 GPA um, for the first, first two years, and um, I felt I could include that. And the certificate for that is right here. So that's it for that one. And the next one is my recognition letter and graduation letter uh, from the Leadership Institute's uh, youth Leadership School. It was a weekend long training. It was quite intensive. We learned about political technology, campaign, um, you know, campaign strategies, as well as um, different ways to get involved in the political atmosphere. Um, but that letter right here is from Morton Blackwell, the founder and president of the Leadership Institute. He uh, decided to write me personally. Um, and this is the certificate from that. And so that's about it for now. Um, I felt developing my public interview portfolio was really a good exercise on how to um, see what I'm capable of and what certain experiences, internships, volunteer work, what I can include um, in my own identity, uh, what people should know about me, um, where I can go with this information. It's really helpful in terms of that, um, but I thought it was a great exercise uh, to help me improve upon my own skills, improve my own life, my personal life. Um, but I also think uh, that my portfolio is not done yet. Um, this is just the start. And I think uh, there's a lot more work to be done um, despite what I've already done and despite um, uh, my um, vast amount of experiences, uh, I think there's always room for improvement no matter what. Um, so I'll leave it at that. If there's anything you would like to ask me, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Um, my number is 716-345-9970. Email jack.rafferty at tpusa.com. Any questions you might have, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Other than that, have a good night and God bless.